Today, we're going to be looking at the encoding side of your stream, in particular using the NVENC encoder, a chip built into all NVIDIA graphics cards. If you have an AMD video card, this won't work. It's not the video for you. Move along. <sighs> Sorry. So we're going to be using the NVENC encoder, and we are going to be looking at the settings within the output tab in OBS or Streamlabs OBS to get the most from it so that you can hopefully get zero dropped frames uh, no encoder lag, new re no rendering lag, and have a lot more space on your system to be able to run, you know, have a couple of browser tabs open. Things like that. It's really useful, takes the weight off your CPU. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Roll the intro. So just before I get started, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. The link is down in the description, or you can just read it off the screen here. Look forward to seeing you guys in there. Let's take a little look into OBS right now. Keep this quick. The first thing you want to do is come down to settings. Then you want to go to the output tab. And on streaming, you are going to select NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. All right. The rate control you want as CBR. Bit rate, I've put 6,000 kilobits per second. Unless you are a partner, you don't want to go higher than 6,000 kilobits per second if you are not yet affiliated you would want to be lower um, and it all based on your upload speed there's a whole rabbit hole we can go down as far as bitrate is concerned so for the time being i'm going to assume you've got the uh, upload speed to be able to do it we're going to go with 6,000 kilobits per second at 1080p keyframe interval you want to set as two preset is going to be max quality profile is going to be high look ahead you want this box ticked off and a psycho visual tuning psycho visual tuning you want to have that box ticked on gpu you're going to leave it it is because it's going to use your primary gpu for the system uh, which should be an nvidia gpu and max b frames you're going to want to set as two now the beauty about the nvenc encoder is that you can record and stream at the same time without actually really doing too much damage in terms of stress to your system. So we're going to go over to recording and we'll set this up at the same time. So you pick your recording path. You're going to want recording format as MKV. Audio tracks, we can go into another time. Encoder, again, NVIDIA NVENC H264 new. So for rate control, you want to set it as CQP. Uh, all you need to know is that is constant quality. Okay, and the lower the number, the lower the, lower the CQ level, the higher the quality. Uh, but the more more strain it will put on your system and the, and the larger the video file, mostly. Um, anywhere between 15 and about 25 is kind of the sweet spot. I normally have mine at about 20. If you want smaller file sizes, you're not too bothered with the, with the quality in that sense. You can drop that down to 25 and 30. Keyframe interval, again, we want to set that as two. Uh, preset is going to be max quality again. Profile is going to be high. This time we can have look ahead and psychovisual tuning. Yes, got it first time that time. You can have them both ticked on for the recording. And again, GPU, max B frames is to leave those exactly as they are. You may now click OK and you are good to go. I hope you found that video very informative. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it if you want to get notifications on your mobile device when a new video comes out. If you have any questions i am always around sometimes and you can hit me up in the discord below <laughs> you can of course leave a comment as well if you have any questions in there and the community can answer it for you or you can follow me on twitter and facebook and all those things i'm not going to go into that they're all there uh, i hope you have a fantastic rest of the day as i say i hope you found this useful i hope that all your streams now look absolutely fantastic make sure you let me know if they do have a great day guys until the next time be good.